And I actually remembered to turn myself on. <laughs> it's something that you forget. It's quite amazing. You can stand in front of an audience for, it seems, most of my life and go... <laughs> Somebody comes up and pulls your trousers and tells you to turn yourself on, which seems to be quite an obscene idea. Um, so, you guys and guyesses, um, can you know what it's like? I'm nearly 80. And, <laughs> and it seems like I have been cooking for most of my life. I started at 10 in my dad's hotel. Um, I said, I want to be like you. I mean, some kids want to be like their dads. It's, it's neat. My son doesn't. Um, and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, really what I wanted to do was to wear a very smart frock coat with striped pants and a silk grey tie with a pearl that secured the tie and a perfectly, perfectly elegant red carnation. And that I would visit with people of royalty who would come to the Dorchester Hotel in London and I would greet them at the door, Your Majesty, and they'd say, Hello, Graham. <laughs> I had such visions at 10 years of age, and I went down um, and uh, said, can, 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 I, can I be like you, Dad? And he said, yes, you can, and we'll start you off today. I said, good, I'll go and change. He said, no, no, you don't, you're, you're perfectly dressed right now. Oh, okay, and I was introduced to scrubbing out the gentleman's restroom. <laughs> That was at 10 years of age, that was my first job. After that, I was able to wash my hands and start in the kitchen. And I, I did spend about six years in the kitchen before um, much started. So, I mean, you know, I grew up amongst chefs and I grew up among, amongst food. I love it and I still love it today in, in a whole different kind of way. Because now I grow it and then I harvest it and then I cook it. And I have such a relationship with this food now that I had no idea existed. I thought you just bought it and then cooked it. And I would take it on like a relay runner and I would simply grab it from the... Re and then cook it. But to actually take the seed and plant it in nourishing soil and watch that thing come out of the ground, the first time I saw that, I know you might have heard me say this before, but I just never get over saying it. There were a little line of basil that I was growing, just the Genovese, just the, the ordinary um, basil. And I planted this in the little greenhouse that I got from Charlie's greenhouse here. Um, and I went every day for seven days into that greenhouse to see what was happening, and nothing happened except the eighth day. I know it's not exactly biblical, but um, <laughs> on the eighth day I walked in and a little row, one little head for every seed that I planted, had come through the earth and one of them had a little grain of soil perched on top of its head. It had thrust itself and was doing this kind of thing. And I couldn't stop myself. I mean, really, I just said, hello! And I realized that I am actually talking to plants and I've just, I've just begun.